So I just heard the news, Malaysia extending the lockdown until May 12 for the third time. At least I don't have to worry about my visa until May 26th. I was told I get like a 14 day automatic visa extension from the date of the end of the lockdown. So that's good news for me. Anyway, I don't think it's safe to travel right now. I'm afraid of the next wave of uh, infection. Besides most countries, they still have travel bans against the uh, foreigners coming in. As you can see from the video, because of the lockdown, the economy of Malaysia is being affected. And yet, they're still gonna extend the lockdown. So uh, it just shows that uh, they're more concerned about the people's uh, lives rather than just the economy. Just think, here it's just like less than 6,000 cases here in Malaysia, coronavirus cases, and less than 100 uh, deaths, and yet they're still doing the lockdown, they're still extending it. While in the US, they've got 89,000 cases of coronavirus and 50,000 deaths. I mean, and yet some governors and protesters want to lift the lockdowns. You know, they want to revive the economy. In Malaysia, they don't care much about the economy right now, they care about the people, the lives of the people. Look at the difference between the United States and Malaysia. The United States has 889,568 confirmed cases of coronavirus and 50,177 deaths. But Malaysia only has 5,603 confirmed cases of coronavirus and 95 deaths. But Malaysia is still extending its uh, lockdown for the third time. While in the US, some of the governors and the protesters, they want to uh, lift the lockdowns early. And the protesters, they are verbally abusing the nurses, the medical workers who are trying to save lives. It's going crazy in the US. I feel like the US is gonna get much worse. Especially with the protest and the bad leadership. Yeah, I might as well stay here in Asia. I feel much safer here. In 1918, the world went through the Spanish flu pandemic and survived. So I'm sure we're gonna survive this again. I just hope it doesn't take long. The Spanish flu pandemic, I think it lasted for three years. So hopefully this one will be over soon. So right now this coronavirus pandemic is affecting the way we live. It just shows that uh, nature has more power than us. But just what the governor of New York said, life is more important than anything else. There's still a possibility we can uh, get the job we lost, also the income that we lost. But life, I mean, you cannot take it back. But for sure, there's a silver lining to this uh, situation. For me, I just realized that we're all very uh, interconnected. No man is an island. 
And here's more lessons learned from this uh, coronavirus pandemic. So if you have anything else to add to this list, uh, please uh, write a comment below. Thank you. So now I'm going to show you a video of the neighborhood where my homestay is, where I've been staying for the last six weeks since the lockdown. And we'll probably be here until the end of the lockdown and two weeks after that before I leave uh, Malaysia, before the end of my uh, visa, if I don't get to renew it again. But anyway, it was uh, after two o'clock at night when I took a walk and it was just uh, around the block. So I'm pretty sure I wasn't breaking any uh, social distancing uh, rules. And uh, since everybody's uh, asleep already, except me. By the way, if you see like a house with a lot of red lights, uh, it's usually owned by a Chinese uh, Malaysian. I want to uh, clarify that since uh, maybe for uh, Western viewers, they might think it's a uh, red district or something but it's not, it's a, a residential area. So the ones with the red lights, uh, they're mostly owned by, usually owned by uh, Chinese Malaysians. Well, it's almost the end of the video. I hope you like it. Uh, please like the video, make a comment and subscribe. The structure of the video is a little bit different, but right now I'm still experimenting, trying to find my style and it will get better. Thank you.